This weekend, the team in charge of operating the Large Hadron Collider here in the CERN Control Center successfully injected beams of protons first and then heavy ions through the transfer lines TI2 and TI8 that connect the SPS, the pre-accelerator, with the LHC. Let's hear from Malika Medhai, the operator in charge of the SPS transfer lines, how these injections went. We're very happy because over the whole weekend we had protons uh, delivered from the SPS to the transfer line. It was a very productive weekend. We had really protons available the whole weekend long and we could do many measurements both in TI2 and TI8, the two transfer lines delivering the beam to the LHC. So we sent the proton all the way down these transfer lines. They're knocking down at the door of the uh, LHC. They're ready, you know, we checked all the, the important beam parameters uh, that are required in order to provide a perfect injection into the uh, LHC. Uh, we had the trajectory uh, well under control now. They're, they're very well tuned, both for TI2 and TI8. And we'll uh, alternatively send these protons to TI2 and TI8. So uh, we're really ready and we are uh, eagerly waiting for the LHC to take uh, this beam. We are doing the same thing since this morning. The operation uh, uh, has worked very hard in order to have this uh, ion beam ready. And since this morning, we have for the first time extracted the ion beam from the SPS into the TI2 transfer line. We check the trajectory. The trajectory seems very close to the one we had uh, for the proton beam line, so this is very encouraging. We have put the screens in now. We are checking the profile of the uh, of the bunch of the ion bunch that is uh, sent in the line, and uh, it, it looks very good as well. So uh, we're going to switch to the other transfer line to TI8 and uh, monitor as well the trajectory, the beam parameters, and then we'll do it, you know, alternatively from one line to the next one. After the successful injections of protons and heavy ions to both transfer lines, the LHC operators stop the beam right at the doors of the big accelerator. This is of course part of the injection procedure. The LHC coordinator, Jörg Benninger, explains us why. So the reason why we do this uh, progressively is that in fact we want to learn as much as possible in advance before we do the full exercise. So therefore, whenever we can and we have sufficient equipment installed, we try to test it. So for example, this weekend we tested the whole transfer line up to a dump, which is at the entrance of the LHC. But a few years ago, we actually already tested part of the, the entrance of the transfer line by stopping it on the dump, while the transfer line was not even fully installed and commissioned. In this way, we can progressively test different equipments, verify the models, uh, feedback if necessary even on the installation if necessary and in this way uh, so in this way now we have the whole transfer line commission and in fact in a few weeks we'll go one step further and uh, try the same thing by adding a sector of the LHC. This weekend we got uh, among other things uh, information that now we understand better the aperture of the transfer line we have improved our understanding of the optics of the transfer line. We have made tests of collimation in the transfer line uh, to test the whole control system. We have made radiation tests to evaluate the radiation hardness or sensitivity of electronic equipment in the downstream area of the transfer line. So in these four weeks, uh, we will reanalyze some of the data that we've taken this weekend. We still have, uh, there's always a, a little detail to be improved, uh, which we will re-verify if possible improve for the next test. And the next test also, the aim is then to be ready to inject into the LHC and have, uh, have it ready for the first sector. So we'll have to wait until all the LHC magnets are cooled down to their nominal temperature of 1.8 Kelvin and the whole accelerator entirely commissioned before injecting beam into the full circle. This is going to happen in a few weeks' time. Follow the LHC News to know where we are.